Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Saturday, May 19th, 2018. 50 degrees, 7.20 a.m. We got little Audie going on the move. Little Audie's going on the move. We were going to sit outside. There's my co-star, Elsie. And here's Samuel. And Mackie. And just as I was going out there with... Uh, the blankets to go sit down outside. Mikey's still out there. It started raining. So everyone got to get out this morning. Albeit briefly. Albeit, I don't know, whatever. And it looks like we're going to get a little rain. I was hoping to ride out to Rockport today. For a ride out there and to do some recon. That still may be in the works. Slept fairly well. I would like to be sleeping more. I was having a dream about uh, being at my financial officer, Chuck Ingalls' office. and He was helping me out and things were doing good and he was setting up for some kind of party there. It was really weird. And I know at least one of my cats was with me. I think Audie was with me. But I woke up and Samuel and Mikey and uh, Audie were with me. Look at Mikey being affectionate. I love you, buddy. And... Uh, yeah, I wanted to just lay there, but I knew I wasn't going to fall back to sleep. So I got up and fired up the coffee water and let out the sweets and said a couple acknowledgments to my existence. And Oh, here we are. It sounds like it might be raining a little harder. Audie's been sneezing a little bit. I don't think she's got any kind of infection, but I do think she's got some kind of cold. Of course, I've had one. I don't know if humans and cats can give each other colds, but she's, she's been sneezing. Her appetite's been all right. Earlier this week, it was real good. Um, what was I going to mention? Look at that, Tammy. Look at Samuel. I love you. I'm wearing my... St. Louis Cardinals jersey. Got this many years ago. Cardinals were my favorite, my mom's favorite birds. And, uh, oh, they've sort of become mine too. I love their song. After I've lived out here and sat out here and realized their song, what their song was, I just, I love them. I love hearing them sing. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, so some confirmations and acknowledgements of, of our existence are. I wake up and I tell myself that I am powerless and life is unmanageable. My will will not be done. Humility and gratitude are the keys to life. It's always today and it's always now. My life is not my own and there is no reality but God. And then I pray for knowledge of God's will for me on this day and the power to carry that out. Uh, it is the 19th of May. We started broadcasting the mic show last year on May 17th was our first episode. I think we skipped a day on the 18th. I looked back in the archives and uh, we officially started on the 19th. We might have missed one day this year so far. I remember coming home from working at Bunch at Ramada Inn and I woke up Monday and realized I'd forgotten to do a mic show. So... Uh, I think there's only been two days in the past year where we did not broadcast. So here we are, here we sit, and we're waiting for our coffee to finish brewing. It is some Four Sisters Coffee espresso roast I picked up at uh, Big Lots. I've never had it before. I made some espresso with it yesterday. I was at Gordon Foods and wanted to get some of their Colombian, but... They were out of it, and it, more coming in on the truck today, so. Yeah, we fed the city chickens. I just saw one going up on the wire. Oh, look at there's Mikey. There's Mikey. There's Mikey. Mikey! You want to come back in, buddy? So we're going to let Mikey in. We're going to pause. So we are back. Mikey got pretty wet. The rain came down pretty hard. And... I have a feeling we're going to be getting some mushrooms if the sun pops out because we haven't seen any morels in the yard yet and it's uh, about time we got some. But going back to the coffee, yeah, the GFS uh, Colombian is awesome coffee, the Mosaic brand, I should say, that they carry at GFS. 
Uh, I'm wondering on this Four, Four Sisters coffee if it's going to be like the... Yeah, Tammy. There's a, there's a kind I got last year that made I made iced coffee with mostly, but it was bad coffee. I was into drinking bad coffee. And uh, it was French roast from either uh, Save-A-Lot or Dollar General, the, the home brands, and I would call it the, uh, the Devil's Island Coffee Company. Devil's Island, of course, being the French Guyana penal colony. It was the French... Uh, the Devil's Island Coffee Roasters. And then the other one I got from uh, Dollar General was the uh, the Donut Shop Blend. I call it the, the, the Donut Shop Blend from the Stale Donut Coffee Company. <laughs> and this might end up being the uh, Four Twisted Sisters from the Dysfunctional Family Coffee Roasters. So we'll see. It's got to brew a little bit more. So we're going to pause again, say a few prayers. Well, we've had about a cup and a half of that Four Sisters coffee. Bring it to me. And I got to say, I can't say that it's bad. It's nowhere near as bad as the uh, French roast from the Devil's Island Brewers or the Stale Donut Coffee Shop coffee. Um, I have a feeling when I get it, the right mixture with the amount of water that it's not going to be too bad of a coffee. Um, I'm going to uh, do a little experimentation on it and see where it goes. Uh, it took me a while to get the black silk right and now I got that where it's drinkable. Because I am a coffee snob, you know, I ground my own beans for years with the espresso maker, the French press and blah blah blah. And so, and I was spoiled with some really good water from my cousin's lodge, which she sold, and I've still got like two and a half gallons of that water left in the refrigerator. Break that out on special occasions. So, we'll see, you know. And I have been buying ground coffee, pre-ground coffee, so... I don't know. I'm really tired. Go figure, hey? And it seems like I've still got that lingering cold. Audie's laying here and she's been sneezing. I don't know if I mentioned that, but she sneezed earlier and she sneezed yesterday. So I hope that's nothing serious with her. She's got enough on her plate with her kidney disease, her heart rhythm, and her uh, being blind, you know. And I pray to God again that she gets her sight back. Because other than that, you know, she was outside last night laying in the sun. She wanders around the yard aimlessly, of course, but she wanders and sniffs the air and she knows where she is, but she just doesn't know exactly where she is. We had a nice little fire last night, talked to our neighbor a little bit, and uh, enjoyed the evening, read a little bit. And so, what else did we do? That's about it, I guess. And I don't know what the plans are for today. I did mention Rockport, possibly going and getting some cat goodies and some cat food. Maybe we'll do that at Meyer, but we'll have to do a more in-depth weather report. And uh, look at a radar map and see what's coming in. So, I guess we're going to pause again. Well, we have finished our readings and our coffee. And I'll tell you what, we're going to make some espresso and get this day kicked into jump start. Um, I'm sitting here with this Samuel and he's comfy and not going to want me to get up. But I have to. And Audie's here, she's tuckered out, and Maxie's cuddled kind of behind her, and Mikey's upstairs on the Betty by. And I don't know where else is, if she's in her chair in the living room, or if she's downstairs, she's got a secret hiding spot. But uh, yeah, we're going to get some bread bacon, going to stop at the credit union, going to run to Meyer and get some goodies for the cats, run to save a lot, probably stop and get some eggs at the farmer's market. So that's the plan for today. You know, maybe later on go to Rockport. I don't know, but... Oh, yeah. We're going to have a good day. We're going to enjoy this beautiful, uh, gray, damp, misty, moisty uh, May day. And uh, we give thanks and wish you all peace and blessings. So have a great day.